drum locks from Warbringer. And uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to play Living Weapon. It's the opening track on our new album, World Sworn Asunder. Uh, it's a pretty simple song. Uh, I like to start it off with a wah pedal. So you put your third finger on the seventh fret of the A string, that's an E. And then you put your first finger on the G, on the D string, which is the fifth fret. And you get this chord. It sounds kind of gnarly because I got a wah pedal. And I just slowly kick it up to uh, do the intro of the song, and it just sounds like this. Alright, so first I'm going to show you the endings for the intro riff. Um, the first end ending starts on the 12th fret, and it's just 12, 13, 12, 10. And the second ending is just picking an A chord four times. So to play the rhythm, it's a down picking pattern with triplets, and you're working your way up, and you're going to focus on playing the low E and the A string together, and you're going to move up the neck. First chord is just uh, the 7 in the open, the next one's the 10th fret in the open string, and then the last part of it is the 12th fret in the open string. And uh, if I put it all together, the pattern is kind of like this. open together. And that's the intro of the song. Alright, for the next riff, I'm just going to break it down. The thing to notice is that you're going to be pedaling off this E a lot. That's the seventh fret. Okay, and you're going to start with your pinky on the uh, eighth fret. And, you're gonna, and then you go from the uh, seventh fret to the E. And on the D string, you're going to go from the fifth fret to the E. And you're putting uh, little chugs in there, and uh, slowly it sounds like this. And the first setting could be a little tricky. It's a lot of fun to play, though. You're going to bounce off um, the seventh fret of the A string to the open string, and then you're going to do a little hammer on. Uh, and it looks like this slow. And that's uh, an 8 to a 10 hammer on. And when you put those two things together, you get this. Um, the next ending that we use is uh, it's the same thing as the intro, except you're uh, not targeting an A, you're targeting a G this time. And it's just a little power chord, and it just sounds like... Another ending we use is just uh, the open, and this is down picked, and it just sounds like... And uh, those are the basic settings for the riff. Okay, so first I'm going to play it slow, and then I'll play it fast for you. And I'm going to put everything together so you get an idea of what the, a regular verse repetition sounds like. And at the speed it's going to sound like this. Okay, that's the basic verse riff. Um, when we pull it in the intro, we do something a little different. Um, and I just change the last ending and I do hit uh, an A and I'm playing octaves. So um, I'll show you how I bring it in when I bring it in the beginning of the song. And uh, up to speed when I bring it in, it sounds like. After we play through the first verse, um, we're going to go to the first bridge. And there is a little transition we use to make it to the first bridge. You're just starting on the seventh fret and you're just playing a couple power chords. And you just go. The transition sounds like. So the first bridge is just a repeating pattern, and um, it looks like this, and you're doing that pedal too, from the 7 and the pinky. And then just 7, 8, 7, 5. And 
at the speed it sounds like. Alright, then the band kicks back into the verse again, and it's just a totally straightforward verse. And then we go to the second bridge, which is a similar repeating pattern, but it's on a lower set of strings. The pattern looks like this, you're just going to bounce off the 7 on the uh, A string and the open E. And then with your pinky uh, on the A string, you're going to just start this little pattern, which is 8, 7, 5, 7. And so slowly it sounds like... And then for the uh, rhythmic pattern at the end of it, you're going to play power chords on the A string, um, and it's pretty much just uh, you know, a D chord, E, F, G. But um, I like, uh, these are my favorite kind of chords actually, when you take your first finger and you just bar a six string and you create an inversion. And um, it, I always think it sounds a little bit lower and fuller. And uh, slow it sounds like. So to put that bridge together, it sounds like. Up to speed. And then you play a, a regular verse riff again. And then we get to the, the, the final bridge, which is also the chorus. And it's a mashup of the first two bridges. So here's the first pattern. It's similar to the first bridge, but the um, the accents change. So you're just playing the uh, eight and the seven, and then you play the seven, eight, seven, five, and slowly, and then you balance to the second bridge pattern, and that's the same. And uh, when you put it together slowly, it sounds like. Four chokes. Alright, so we just pretty much ring out an F chord and uh, let it dissolve into feedback at the bass line. Um, the guitar riff that brings it in is just a simplified version, so I'm just going to show you guys the main bit bass riff. Um, so you're pretty much just playing one power chord and then a little rhythmic chug. And then you do a open, F, third fret, fourth fret. And the third fret to the fourth fret is a slide. And you just go back to the uh, clamp and back down on the F chord. So slowly it's... So for the tail of the mosh riff, um, you just do two pull-offs and then you just clamp down on two notes. So slowly, and we put the whole thing together. For the last part of the mosh riff, you're just going to play a D sharp on the A string, but make sure to put the, the bar the 6th string so you get that um, bigger inversion. And if I put the whole thing together, I'll play it slow and fast. Alright, I'm going to play it fast. So after the midsection of the song, we get to the final verse riff, and um, it's probably the climax of the song. And we're going to be playing the tail end pattern from the second bridge, and it was this. And um, we're going to mash that in with the uh, rhythmic patterns on, of the uh, open E string. The first pattern is just down picking, it sounds like. The second pattern is double time, alternate picking. Third pattern is uh, triplets, but there is a little jump in it. Um, it sounds like... And the last pattern is just going to be the uh, 
12th fret, the octave of the open E. And then we go to the final chorus, which is the third bridge. And the only thing that changes are the, um, the tail ends. Um, the first one sounds like... Second one is... And for the third one, we're just going to clamp down on the F and then do four chugs, so it's extended. And that's how you play Living Weapon.